This is the Artifact Guy and this is our first of our paired items on the channel. This is an ARP Air Raid Warden's Whistle and Badge. We'll look at the badge first and we'll just explain what an Air Raid Warden's role was. So this is from the 1940s, 1939 to 1945, of course, the Second World War in Britain. And this is an ARP badge. ARP stands for Air Raid Precaution, which was the name of the organisation that looked after people in air raids even though their role extended much further than that. Now this is a, a silver badge uh, given to air raid wardens after six months of service. And as you can see, it's embossed, it's printed, it's sort of squished down if you like. There would have been a mold on top, a stamp if you like, that printed right the design right onto this uh, quite thin silver sheet. Um, you can see it's got this mottling here, which is quite nice. The way it's uh, almost got like an engraved look, but like I say, it is stamped on. And then we've got the crown as well, because it's uh, overseen, of course, by King George uh, the Sixth, the king at the time. So there you go. So that's a badge. Six months service, a silver badge. It's got the usual pin on that's soldered at the back there. And these are still quite common. You can still get quite a lot of these. There's a lot of people in the air raid organisation. And of course, because as the war dragged on, more and more of these were given out. So there you go. That's an ARP badge for long service, for six months long service. Now, the role of the air raid warden was quite varied. It wasn't just in um, an air raid where they managed to get you in the shelter. It was also for fitting gas masks and things like this. And also making sure the general health and safety of the people was cared for in a time of war. It was very much your first point of contact. Uh, so here we, go. here we go again. We've got an ARP tubular whistle. This is very, very loud. And, um, and this basically, if, you, if there was an air raid siren going and they had to get your attention and get you to go into a shelter, etc., um, you would hear this. It's got this to attach it to the top there. Uh, to your, see it's quite wide, to fit to your uniform with either a lanyard or a chain, almost in the style of an old watch chain. And you can see it's got ARP, there we go, get in focus, the ARP. Air Raid Precaution, it's really nicely engraved. I love these little, these little touches here. I mean, that's the thing about the simplicity of design in World War II, but they also... Um, always made sure that things were beautiful as well. So it's even got the maker's mark on. It's got J Hudson & Co. And it's got the address there, Bar Street in Birmingham. It's got the full address. And it's like a, quite a common design. It was used by the police as well all the way through the 20th century. And like I say, the distinctive loud noise given by this long body compared to a smaller whistle um, does make it really effective, especially in times of war. Um, so there you go. So it's just, I'm guessing it's just made out of a tin metal or something like this. Uh, but like I say, it's still used now, actually. Some people still use them now. It's very, very loud and very, very effective. So there we go. These have been an ARP uh, long service badge for six months made out of silver and an ARP whistle from World War II in Britain. And I have been the Artifact Guy.